what I boil this is Jay from their cotton candy hair and I just want to say welcome to you guys now as you guys can see my hair is currently it's a hot mess like y'all and I wanted to show you guys because I think a lot of people don't know how to properly detangle their hair and that's why a lot of people also go back to relaxing their hair because they feel like natural hair it's too hard like it's too hard to maintain I can, I just cannot deal so I'm going to show you guys how to use steam to effectively and easily detangle your natural kinky coily 4C4 type hair okay now I bought this steamer this steamer is not specifically designed for natural hair it is actually one of those steamers that you buy to steam your curtains to steam your clothes but for me it is a cheap alternative because the hair steamers go around for 1600 that's like the cheapest that I've seen and this one I bought it for less than 250 at clicks that's where I bought it so for me it's a cheap alternative um, what you'll also be needing um, is some water in a spritz bottle to just moisturize your hair and I'm also gonna use some shea butter and this is the shea butter I'll be using some shea butter and a conditioner just to create a slip so that I can effectively rake my hands or the comb through my hair okay then I also have like a white tooth comb that I'll be using so this is the white tooth comb that I'll be using I also have some grips to section my hair and then a scissor okay in case the need arises arises for me to actually just dust my ends I have this on standby as well so now let's go and you can see how I actually detangle my hair using the steamer okay so I have poured water into the steamer there's actually a mark you don't completely fill the steamer they show you there's like a mark on the steamer that shows you how far you need to pour the water so I switched it on it takes about less than a minute to actually start for steam to start coming out um, and also I put the steamer on like something and there's a table in front of me I don't want to have the steamer in my hand the whole time because I just found out that I cannot work like that so I put it on the table there's a table in front of me and the steamer is here and then I'm just gonna work from the it is much safer point number one it is much safer and it is also easier for me to work with so yes now I'm gonna start okay my hair is like so this is like an old hairstyle so let's just spritz my hair i think that's the best thing to do while we wait for the steam to come out and it's actually okay I'm not sure if you guys can see but there's steam coming out so i'm just gonna spritz my hair now first things first I'm gonna start off and spritz my hair with some water and work the water into my hair because as I have said my hair was dry like my hair was very dry so I needed to get it drenched in water so that it can be more elastic and easier to work with some people when they use a steamer they don't necessarily spritz their hair but this is something that works for me it might not work for you so you have to do what works for you okay disclaimer something that i also just have to mention is that if you use a steamer please 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 take the necessary precaution because steam is hot and it will burn you if not used correctly i'm starting off by separating my hair by gently separating my hair and the section that i'm not using i'm just gonna tie in the back I'm gonna apply some conditioner onto my hair my hair has enough water and that's why I'm not spritzing the part again but if you feel that your hair is a bit dry you can spritz some water after applying the 
condition onto my hair I'm gonna apply some shea butter onto my hair and work it in as I'm working it in I'm also finger detangling as much as possible I don't like to work in big sections so I'm just gonna separate that part into two and once again going back to the finger detangling usually people would say that you should start from the ends of your hair and work your way up but that's not something that i've ever done i usually start at the root and gently work my way to the bottom i just don't break my hair like from the roots until the end all the way and no if i encounter any snags i'm gently gonna pick at it with the comb and yeah that's what i do i don't just rake the hair i i just don't rake the comb from the roots to the end because you will encounter breakage as well once again i finger detangle that is like before I even go in with any hair tools, I finger detangle as much as possible. And then I start from the roots of my hair, work my way to the ends and gently pick at it at the end. If I encounter any tangles or any um, knots, then I will go back to finger detangling. If I'm satisfied, then I'll go back to the comb and just rake the comb through my hair and gently pick at any tangles with the comb so I actually alternate between using the comb and finger detangling once I'm done with the section I two strand twist it and make sure that it doesn't shrivel up again and tangle and curl and coil within itself then I will have to detangle it again If you encounter any stubborn tangles, simply move your hair closer to the steam and the tangle will melt away like butter. Make sure that you have applied enough products to your hair as the combination of steam, water and products, especially the grease from the shea butter, helps to unravel the tangle.
and just like that we have reached the end of the video i hope that you guys found this video very helpful if you have any 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 questions leave a comment down in the comment section below and whatever you do don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you guys in the next video